Hey guys, I'm Reptile Riff, and today's special guest, the Colombian Redtail Boa. Warning, while no animals were harmed in the making of this show, you should not attempt to engage or interact with animals you see in the wild without a license. And whatever you do, don't do this. Hey guys, I'm Reptile Riff. Now today a farmer called me out here on his property, because right here in this container, lies an unidentified snake. He saw it in there, said it was about seven feet long. He wants to get in there without being envenomated. He doesn't know what kind of snake it is. A lot of people don't know how to identify snakes properly. So I'm gonna go in there. I know a good bit about snakes. I'm gonna go in there, identify it, maybe be able to grab it up and bring it out. You never know what could happen. I don't know what I'm looking for, so I have to be very, very careful. Could be venomous. Snakes are incredible navigators. They can squeeze through any hole. Extremely malleable body type. They're also very good at smelling things. And right now I'm very sweaty, so he probably knows I'm here. Now the cool thing about snakes is that they're deaf. So as long as I step lightly, because they are very good at sensing vibration on the ground. So if I step lightly, he's not gonna really know I'm coming. Now they like to hug the wall. When they're roaming around, so they might be back there underneath something. I don't even really know where to look, so I'm just kind of looking everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. That's a boa constrictor, Colombian red tail boa. That's not venomous at all, very invasive. Now, when handling a large constrictor, you want to be very careful. Don't pick them up from the top. Scoop them up from the bottom. Pick them up from the top, they're gonna think a bird is attacking them, and instinctively, they will bite whatever has got a hold of them. I swoop in from the bottom, as gently as I can without putting any pressure on the top of the animal. That first interaction is the most important. All right, let's bring him out into the sun. They have that name Constrictor because he wraps himself around his prey until either the lungs collapse or the heart stops. Now they're not aggressive animals defensive. If someone were to pick this up, putting pressure on the top, squeezing it real hard, or try killing it, this thing's obviously going to lash out, defend itself. That's how a lot of people get bit, especially by venomous ones. You see that very pretty coloration? Helps them blend into anything around them, that light dark pattern. Kind of like camouflage. Now, a boa is a lot heavier than a python for the size, very dense snake. A boa also gives live birth. They don't lay eggs, like pythons. So there's a few differences there. A lot of people think that that forked tongue on snakes is some kind of envenomation or poisonous technique. It's not, it's just him sniffing the air, tasting for scent particles, going through the air, and that allows him to gather his surroundings and know exactly what direction he needs to go next to find a juicy mouse or a frog. Now these animals are locally dominant invasive. They're not widespread like the Burmese python out in Florida. Highly invasive species in a couple areas in South Florida. I can tell the snake is calm. So I'll then uh, you know, kind of put him around my neck. You want to support him from the bottom. This is the best way I can do it. If he does start to wrap his way around my neck, I just need to make sure I keep my hand in between the coil and my neck so he can't actually cut off the blood flow going through my throat. Absolutely beautiful snake. Now, if you guys enjoyed this crazy adventure, don't forget, check out more videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm Reptile Rift. Thanks for watching.